The Golden Retriever is an incredibly lovable dog breed with a high level of energy and a strong athletic build. They're a very popular breed globally, particularly due to their people oriented nature and kind and gentle demeanor. However, as a Golden Retriever owner, like with all breeds, you need to be very aware of the dog's temperament. In today's video, we'll be looking deeper into the breed, particularly whether or not they're a breed with a high or low prey drive. Welcome back to the Fenrir Golden Retriever Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine needer here at FenrirCanineNeeders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Golden Retriever. Then how to become high level canine needers that can raise the perfect Golden Retriever. So, if you're a lifelong Golden Retriever lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this is the channel for you. So, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Golden Retriever video. So, let's jump right into today's video to find out a bit more of this breed's instincts and behaviours. Whilst dogs have been bred away from being predators like their wolf ancestors, most of them still retain the instinctive ability and want to hunt. Due to breeding, the prey drive manifests in many different ways in different dog breeds. Prey drive includes a few different behaviours, including searching, stalking, chasing, biting to grab or biting to kill. Obviously, not all dogs have such a strong prey drive, but it's good to be aware of the specific behaviours as all dogs are individuals and temperaments can vary. Golden Retrievers are very confident but gentle dogs by nature and although it's common for them to be used as working dogs alongside hunters, they do not have a high prey drive. They're extremely sociable and playful dogs that much prefer to get on with other animals that they come across. It is very well known that these bouncy and loving dogs adore playing and desire to be as close to everyone as much as possible. They absolutely thrive off attention. With the Golden Retriever, it's helpful to understand a few more of the breed's drives rather than just the prey drive, including pack drive, food drive, retrieve drive and play drive. Understanding a dog's natural instincts helps you as an owner to be able to be better to understand your dog's behaviours and to find the best ways to train them. Golden Retrievers are known for having a high pack drive and are very sociable dogs as a result of this making them great family pets as they love to spend time with their owners. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, that I have a completely free course called The Principles to the Perfect Puppy. In that course, I break down all of the most important things that I think you absolutely have to know and understand for you to become a high-level canine leader that raises your own perfect canine companions. So if you want to go and check out my completely free Principles to the Perfect Puppy course, there'll be a link down in the description below box below. Thousands of people have taken that and had incredible success. So I can't wait to see you over there. Again, there'll be a link in the description box below. I'll see you on that course. Being a people oriented dog with a high pack drive means that they are easy to train due to them being very eager to please their owner and enjoy all the attention that they get given during training. As always, you should always be aware of the difference between a dog playing and a dog pushing the boundaries to see how far they can go. Golden Retrievers have a high food drive and even though they are regularly fed, they will happily take more food when presented. Using food as a reward system in training can come in very handy and make training your Golden Retriever even easier. A Golden Retriever's retrieve drive is extremely high as you would expect, which is why they are so highly used by hunters as working dogs in the field. In a home environment, they love to play games where they retrieve different items for their owners. The retrieve drive may mean that if your dog spots or smells something in the distance, then they may be so focused on finding it that they ignore your recalls. But with lots of consistent training and patience, this can be corrected and their recall can be top notch. Your golden retriever will absolutely adore you and are eager to please, making training something that can be turned into an enjoyable activity. These impressive dogs need to be well stimulated both physically and mentally in order for them to be well balanced dogs and to prevent them from developing destructive or unwanted behaviours. They are a high energy breed and boredom needs to be prevented. The more exercise your golden retriever is given, the more relaxed they'll be in the home. 
As I mentioned already, the Golden Retriever is a very intelligent breed and they must be socialised from a young age with other dogs, people and situations. It's important to understand the difference between prey drive and aggression as they can very easily look like they're one and the same. A dog's aggression is driven by very strong emotions like fear, whereas their prey drive is instinctive. Aggressive dogs will want to increase the distance between themselves and the object of their aggression. But a dog's prey drive will draw them closer to the target. So why does this really matter? Well, as a dog's prey drive is not driven by emotions, it's most often easier to manage than emotion-based aggression. An extremely strong prey drive can be particularly problematic if your dog wants to chase absolutely everything it sees. Going for walks can be a nightmare for you as an owner, so they need to be properly trained and corrected in order to prevent your dog from ignoring your every call. Most of a dog's prey drive behaviours are harmless but can cause problems for you as an owner. Being unable to go for a walk with your canine companion and to be consistently worrying that they're going to take off. It's super important to look into the specifics of a dog breed before bringing them into your home to make sure that you and your pup will be a good match. Plus, it's good to be aware of the different behaviours that your breed of interest may show more than other breeds would. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Golden Retriever videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Golden Retriever Show.